Can I get your thoughts on national politics? Are the Democrats going to take over the House and the Senate, or do you think Republicans have it? It's anyone's guess, but the, the, um, the most prominent way of thinking is that the Democrats are going to take the House, and, and uh, the Republicans are going to hang on to the Senate by a narrow margin. Uh, but those dynamics are changing daily. This whole thing where now that over 10 bombs have been set targeting uh, liberal media and liberal uh, leaders of, of, of the Democratic Party, that, uh, that could change everything. And it's despicable. Those people should be brought to justice. Uh, it, pe the, the, the laws should be hard on them, and we should make an example of them that that is just not acceptable. I'm suggesting, though, that that whole thing can take just the wind out of all of the, the sails if there, were, if there was some on the, the conservative side of the argument because no one's going to tolerate attacks on anyone, and I'm one of those people. Is all civility lost in politics? Uh, civility seems to be uh, a thing of the past, and uh, when we have... Uh, Hillary Clinton saying there will be no civility un until uh, they are back in office. And so as if uh, that, you've never heard a leader, an, a world lead, a leader in the United States say something like that. We have others saying that uh, you should attack people if they go to a restaurant, you should attack them in an elevator, you should ta attack them in the hallway, make sure that they and their families know that it's not safe to go out and have a meal if they disagree with you. This whole idea of people disagreeing with you being your enemy is not something that I subscribe to. I think people can totally disagree and you can still be friends and that you should talk about it in, in ways and listen to people because I, I, if someone disagrees with you, there's probably a good reason. And if you disagree with them, there's probably a good reason. And I think that good, uh, intelligent, bright, and, and well-intentioned people can come together and, and solve the problems of both sides and the concerns of both sides and come up with really good solutions. But that's impossible when people are just doing war with each other and when there's the narrative that if you disagree with me, you're, you're our enemy, and we must destroy you. That's the thing that doesn't make any sense to me. That if you and I, that's happened to me. It happened to me. Um, you know, I made a donation to Romney, and and uh, all the liberal press came after me, and they t said things about me that was that were totally untruthful, and we proved that in the the courtroom. Uh, but nevertheless, um, that kind of politics, I'm I'm opposed to it. Not because I was under attack, but because it it doesn't help us solve problems. It might help us get into power uh, at some point if you can make this person hate that person, therefore they no longer listen to them. Uh, but um, I think civility certainly right now is a past tense word. Um, we need to bring it back. I don't think our president is helpful in that. I regret that. Um, I like a lot of the things he's doing. I don't like how he's going about it. Um, some people will hate me for saying that. Um, that's the problem. If you have an opinion, people will like you or not like you based on how you uh, articulate your position. Mm. That didn't used to be that way. And we need to get back to the day where we can disagree and uh, solve problems uh, by hearing each other out.